My name is Stephen Johnson. Um, I've been Director of Music and Worship here at St. John's going on 16 years this year. I was baptized and confirmed at Shepherd of the Valley Lutheran Church in Galt, California. Uh, my great-grandparents were the founders of the Little Lutheran Church in Galt. They donated the land and some of the money to build the first building. And my first time playing the piano was actually Christmas Eve as a five-year-old, playing the little drummer boy um, in church. I was, I've always been captivated with music in church. I've, I've always felt that spirit has had its hand in this direction of healing people through music and inspiring people through music in the church. Before coming to St. John's, I was at Holy Trinity Parish and the Catholic Parish in El Dorado Hills. And there was, I learned a whole lot about liturgy and ritual within the Catholic Church and how to really create organic, wholesome moments with people. That sense of hospitality and welcoming that was always a part of my upbringing and part of who my family has been or who are um, makes its way into my music life. I always want whatever we're singing, whatever we're creating, whoever we're with, to be a moment that's remembered and remembered in a way that's really significant and meaningful. Prior to the renovation of the sanctuary, um, the red carpet ate up all the sound. I can remember after they had taken the carpet out, I brought the choir in there one night uh, at the end of rehearsal to sing something. And I can still remember who was standing there, who was standing in the circle. And once we sang, we knew life was going to be really good when it came to worship because the room sings back to you now. It's big enough to feel like a cathedral, yet intimate enough that nobody feels left out. That's one of the beauties of St. John's worship space. People often ask me if I'm, uh, if I'm conducting, playing, or cooking today, if I'm showing up at an event. And, because cooking is just as gratifying for me as playing the piano or conducting choirs. Or, it's a very soulful and spiritually connected activity for me and a family business for almost 45 years. It was started by my grandmother. Um, so, And still today we get together, everybody knows what they're going to do. Dad does his thing, he's at the barbecue, mom's in the back, and I'm kind of refereeing the whole thing and helping put everything together. I've been with the Sacramento Gay Men's Chorus as their conductor and artistic director for a little over five years now. And that organization came about 32 years ago um, in secrecy um, as a way for guys to get together who like to sing. They've been hurt by a past experience with the church or they've been shamed or they've been rejected or whatever that. None of that exists here. So it's a way for them to live firsthand and live into something where they can see life doesn't have to be what it's always been. There's always something better. There's a group of us that went to Germany to sing um, at the Berliner Dome as part of the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. It was a really a transformative experience to be in the towns and in the buildings and in the churches where all of our great composers that have made up such a rich tradition of music for the Lutheran Church. Um, I wanted to come home and bring and create that for St. John's. So on Saturday, November 18th. It's going to be a, an amazing celebration, 30-piece orchestra, all of our choirs singing in conjunction with Vox Musica, uh, Sacramento Gay Men's Chorus, and the college choirs at Sac City College, <clears throat> all coming together to lift up um, the 150th anniversary of St. John's. What I consider the perfect, perfect worship service to be, it's always mighty congregational singing. It's great to have choirs, it's great to have the instrumentalists, but the heart and soul of a church is all of its members singing. And that's always in my mind when I plan, that's always in my mind when I envision what, what we could do or what we could be. Everybody sitting out in the pew has just an important role in connecting everybody and ushering in Holy Spirit. They're the extension of the orchestra.